Is there an actual name or is it just a color? Oh, I thought the color is the color a mirror underneath? Or is it telling me there's a mirror underneath? Underneath what? Because that's not a mirror. I don't know. Hello everyone, my name is Mama Hearts Makeup and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be featuring this simple yet pretty festive look for the holidays with this brick red liner here. And I'm going to show you a little trick on how to turn any eyeshadow into a colored liner. So if you're interested in how I achieve this look, please keep on watching. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I love talking to you guys. Now let's get started. Okay guys, forgive the frizziness of my hair. It's been raining here in Southern California for the last couple days and rain and my hair do not mix. So that's why I just threw another hat on because uh, uh, what's going on under here is a hot mess. So as you guys can see, I did my face makeup and my eyebrows as well. I've done full face in my last few videos, so it's all repetitive I feel at this point. So I'm just going to focus on the eye for today. Let's bring in a bit closer. Is that, is that close enough? Too close? Yeah, I know. It's uncomfortable for me too. But let's just move on. Let's move past. Let's push past. Let's push past. Okay, per usual, let's go ahead and start priming the lid with a little soft ochre. I'm gonna press it on a bit more with my finger. Both lids. So how are you all doing today? I will say for me, this is my second video of the day that I am filming. I filmed a completely different tutorial earlier today and somehow in the process of air dropping it from my phone to my iPad so I can edit it, um, I lost it. Oh, I was so upset about that. But I guess it happens. I swear, I waited until I saw the little scent symbol on my phone and my iPad said that it was complete or that my my phone had successfully shared a, some, something or other and I was like, good, I'm good to go. Closed everything up, ran a few errands, came home and I'm like, I'm gonna edit that video, I'm gonna bust it out. And I went to look for it and I couldn't find it and I had already deleted it from my phone because I knew I wanted to film something else and I couldn't find it. So I've run out of room on my iCloud so it's not in like the deleted file in my phone. I, I just I lost it. I completely lost it. So it's gone forever. So I'll have to refilm that. <sighs> it's okay. I'm moving on. Filming something else. I'll get back to that other one. Maybe refilm it. I don't know. This is so exciting, right? Like you guys care. I'm gonna do a very simple look for the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this brush a little bit using this Japanese makeup brush cleaner. I really like this in a pinch when I haven't had time to really clean my brush as well. It's just a little like travel size. I didn't know if I would like it. So I bought the travel size and I really do. Look how I got all the, the product off there. So that way I can change colors as I want to. I'm gonna be using the master palette for this look. I know it's been in a lot of my videos lately, but I just love this palette. It's so pretty and I just can't put it down. So, you know, forgive me. But to define the crease a little bit and a little bit of transition color, I'm gonna go in with Lula and Isabel, going just above my natural crease. See how the little skin fold is right there? I'm going right above that and really working that point of the brush into that area, really pressing into the socket really to really get that definition that I'm looking for. Then turning it the other way so that it's lying kind of flat, I'm gonna just blend that out a bit to soften up that line. There we go. Now I'm going in with a nice fluffy brush. I'm going into Lu just Lula exclusively and I'm really going to blend out that color there. Move it up higher onto the upper part of my lid there. Just looks a bit softer. 
Now what the Mario palette doesn't have is a good brow bone highlight color, so I'm going to the Naked 2 palette and using this light color here, Foxy. I'm just going to define the brow bone a bit. And if you went a little high on that Lula color on the lid, you can kind of blur it out a little bit with this Foxy color. Now onto the lid itself, I'm going to tap on just a little bit of concealer because I want it to be just a little bit tacky so when I press on the color it'll really stick. I'm going into Fifth Avenue and on top of that I'm going to add Hollywood as well. They're both very gold colors and that's what I'm looking for right now. I'm just going to tap on Fifth Avenue using my finger per use with the sparkly colors and then going into a different finger, although you really don't have to, I'm going to put Hollywood on top of that just to really brighten it up a bit. I'm going to define the lower lash line just a bit using Lula and Isabelle again and just going in onto the lower lash line just a bit just for a little definition and I'm going to use this nude liner by Rimmel put that on the waterline. Okay now going into my modern renaissance palette I know another palette I can't seem to stay away from I'm going to use this red ochre color here I'm going to use that as an eyeliner. Now how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this little spatula thing. You can use whatever you have on hand. I'm just going to scrape it onto just like the back of a lash box so it has some place to go. You don't need very much. And then take a bit of contact lens solution. I'm just going to use a drop or two for now. Okay, three. And grab a nice dense angle brush. Dip it a bit into the contact lens solution to wet it, not too much. You can dab it if you need to. Don't dab. Dab it onto a napkin and then go into that red shadow there. And go ahead and create your wing. Now this certainly isn't going to be waterproof by any stretch of the imagination, but it does stay on pretty for a pretty good length of time. You can do this with any eyeshadow really. Now I got it onto my lid like right there as you can see. That's easily fixed. I'm just going to grab a q-tip and lift that bit off and then tap on a little bit of the gold. Now for my inner corner highlight I'm going to go ahead and use Vermeer from the Modern Renaissance palette. And just right there in that inner corner. Now let's put on some mascara. Going in with my Mad Lash again. I know, I'm sorry. I keep repeating products, but I really like this mascara. I'm going in with my favorite waterproof mascara onto the lower lashes. Like the moisture level outside is obviously high because it's raining, but ugh, even inside it just makes my hair frizz like crazy. Like, do you see it just turning into a fuzzball before your very eyes? Ugh. Go ahead and curl. I will be going in with these lashes. Again, I'm so sorry. I lost the box that it came in quite some time ago, but. I wanted these that were a bit spaced out with the open spaces here as you can see so that the liner would show through. I mean why go through all that trouble and then no one can see it. Now where is my lash glue? I put it away that's why I couldn't find it. Oh my gosh my workstation is atrocious. It's probably going to be one of my new year's resolutions that I keep my makeup area a bit more organized. Yeah, see how that goes. And by a bit more organized, I mean organized at all. It is so not organized. It's a hot mess is what it is. Get them as close to my lash line as possible. A moment of silence, please. How dare you. I swear there's some days that I'm like, you know what, I'm getting better at whole false lash application thing, but in other days, <laughs> not so much. 
Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, so you can see I did the other eye. Let's go move on to the lip. Over the entire lip, I'm gonna use this lip and cheek pencil by New Sticks, S-T-I-X, and the color is Mystic. And of course, over top of that, I'm gonna be using this infallible lip gloss. It's the eight hour lip gloss in number 505. Okay. Here's the finished look. It's not too dramatic. The red that I used as the liner is obviously a bit more deeper. It's more like a brick red than a bright Santa hat red. Like I said, you can really use this for any shadow. Pigment powders work really well with the contact lens solution. You can use contact lens solution. You can use eye drops. I've used eye drops before as well. Or you can certainly use products like Duraline. And I think MAC makes a type of mixing medium. I've even used Fix Plus before. You can use whatever you're most comfortable with. I just happen to have tons of contact lens solution on hand, so that's what I use. So it doesn't smudge or anything. It lasts a pretty good long time as long as you don't like re-wet it. Like I wouldn't go out in the rain because this is not waterproof. I think the Duraline is waterproof and that's by, is it Lorac? Who makes Duraline? I don't know who makes Duraline because I don't have Duraline. <laughs> this look is definitely good for this time of year. You know, when you still want to look festive but not too over the top. In my opinion, this is a very simple look but also very pretty. It's different because of the different color liner but not so over the top that you won't feel comfortable wearing it. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!